congratulations. As Colton just put it, hot. What do you feel? Um, I, I was just saying I'm really introverted, so I always feel nervous and kind of overwhelmed until I get to like a safe, quiet space, and then I cry, and then I do it all again the next day. Well, I mean, so we got the cover of Sports Illustrated with Martha, with Kim, with Brooks. Amazing feat. Was this always a dream of yours? Um, not when I was little. I was saying that that's not something I even, like, really conceptualized when I was young. But as I realized, like, I'd been in this industry for so long, I was like, what are some things I want to do that are maybe accessible to me that I could manifest? And that was one of them where I decided I, I do really want to be on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And so. So when you found out, what did you do to prep? How did you get into that mindset? I really didn't prep. I just kind of, like... I'm always super into my fitness anyway, so I feel like I wasn't, I, and also like I try to really be diligent about my skincare and I'm really crazy with about having an organic clean diet and all of those things. I have no cheat days anyway, so there wasn't anything to like dial in. I don't drink, I don't drink coffee, I don't, I don't smoke, I have no vices. Um, so I was kind of, I guess, ready in my mind anyway, based on lifestyle. What I love about Sports Illustrated is that it's so diverse, it's so inclusive, and it tells a lot of amazing stories. You were vulnerable, opened up, and talked about your body dysmorphia. Putting it out there and for other women who are going through the same issues, how did you overcome that? How do you still overcome that, and what advice do you have? I don't think I overcome it. It's why I'm, I'm extremely introverted and I don't do a lot of events. Um, it, it, it's really hard for me. This morning was really hard for me, like working myself up into knowing where I was coming and what I was going to do. And it's also when you have to live that as a celebrity where you know that every photo of you is analyzed down to like every eyelash and eyebrow hair and every acne scar. And you know that your faults are so, people comb through everything to find all the faults they can instead of just being like, hey, this is a healthy, nice girl. You know, that's not something that, that is an option for me. So it, when you have something like any, any type of, of insecurities, but especially something like a body dysmorphia, that amplifies that um, and makes it very difficult. So I have not overcome, but I am just functioning as best I can.